Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did some damage. You guys are gonna judge me. I already know, it's fine. I wanna do swatch party videos because I want you guys to see these palettes in case you had your eye on them. So yeah, I did a thing. It's fine, okay? I asked on my community tab if you guys thought I should pick up these palettes and it was so funny to hear people's conversations because people were like, no, you don't need it. Like, I have it and I never use it. And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I don't buy palettes to, <laughs> I don't pa buy palettes to use them until they're gone, let's be real. Um, but I swear to you, throughout 2018, Consistently, I have heard how good Curry Bay something palette by Alamar Cosmetics is, and I was like, "What the tits?" And then I like looked for it on Poshmark, and I did find a few people selling it on Poshmark. There was one girl in particular, I think, that was selling it brand new, but she was selling it for like twenty bucks. And Poshmark, like, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for shipping, so I'm like, "Well, why would I buy it from you when I have to pay shipping, which will make it the price." if I were to buy it on Almar's website and then I know for sure it's been sanitary. And uh, so I kind of lowballed her on my offer, but really guys, why would you, I always encourage you to think of that. Like if you can get it for the same price, brand new on the company's website, like don't buy it like from Poshmark, even I sell on Poshmark, but still I try to make sure that you're getting a good deal. Anyway, I had heard nothing but good things about the Reina Del Caribe First one, this is palette number two. I'm trying to open up palette number one. I wanted to show you guys how well these were packaged. But they did come to me in an envelope, like a paper envelope, but I think they did a good job of making sure that these were really freaking secure in here. So <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited because consistently in 2018, I had heard people talk about the Reina Del Caribe palette one. So when I finally decided to buy it, I realized she was coming out with a part two. And I was like, well, I might as well wait and buy both at the same time. So this is the first one and the packaging is so beautiful. It says it is a 12 month shelf life and it is cruelty free made in the US. Inspired by the beauty and rich culture of Cuba, the birthplace of Almar, featuring eight intense pigmented shades ranging from delicate shimmers high shine metallics and velvety mattes. So I'm so excited. Literally everyone talks about how good this is. I want to say Lacey, even Hannah Louise Poston loves this palette. So I'm so excited to finally have this in my collection. So let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Ooh. Oh, I really was excited about this color. So we have La Costa and El Malink. Malico? Maybe I should put the names on the screen. So these are the four shimmer shades and then there's four mattes. So yeah, a lot of people talk about Pops of Blue in 2018. This is definitely one of those palettes uh, with a lot of Pops of Blue and then a bunch of warm neutrals. Uh, but I really just wanted to try this formula because like I said, everyone was raving about this formula in 2018. So I blame everyone if I don't like this palette because that's all anybody's been talking about. And then here are the four matte shades. So pigmented. Swatchy swatch. <laughs> so there is the swatches of the Almar Cosmetics. Uh, de, what is it called? Sorry. Uh, Reina Del Caribe Volume 1 palette. Okay, so here is part two, and this says, inspired by La Passion for Old Havana Nights, this palette will transform you into La Reina de la Noche, featuring eight intensely pigmented shades, ranging from bold metallics to velvety smooth mattes. Best use wet for the shimmer shades, I'm guessing, and best use dry for the matte shades, I'm guessing. And again, this one is also 12 month shelf life with the cruelty free bunny and made in the USA. I believe these palettes are each $28. She also has brush sets for each palette. Um, there was uh, a green set of eyeshadow brushes for the first one and then like a red I think for the second one. So here is the second palette or the newer palette and I'm so excited. Here it is. So it looks exactly how it does on the Instagram. 
And let me swatch the mattes first on this one. So we have Mumbo, which is like a beautiful yellow, Flamingo, uh, Damas, and Caballeros. I don't know why I tried to sell it, say the names in this one. Okay, so here are the shades. Very unique arrangement of mattes, like to have a yellow and a pink. I don't think I've seen that color combination before in a palette. Um, especially because there's only eight shades. So here they are. They do feel a little bit dry, which I'm okay with. I feel like that means it'll be like easy to blend. Um, so we'll see. And now let's swatch the shimmers. And I believe the owner of Alamar is friends or best friends or Kathleen Light's makeup artist. Somehow she's like known to Kathleen Light's, which I think is another reason that this brand kind of got its hype. But Look at those shades. So beautiful. That green. I'm so into greens right now, you guys. Let me expand that swatch a little for you guys. Super pretty. I feel like I could almost like do some mixing and matching with these palettes. So there they are. Hopefully you guys can see the shades. And yeah, I'm just really excited to try this formula. So I wanted to do a quick swatch party in case you guys were curious to see them swatch on a different skin tone. Let me know your thoughts on Alamar Cosmetics. Do you already own the first palette? If so, are you planning on picking the second one up or are you like some of the people that commented in my community tab saying that they have the palette but they never use it? Let me know all of that good stuff down below. I will be back with a review for you guys. Maybe do some looks with this palette. Let me know what you want to see on my channel. And I will catch you guys soon. Bye!